Once upon a time, long ago, in the spring of 1630, there was a young woman named Entchen, a young lady, Spunk. In the music you can hear it, she went through a lot. is ready from gutter to facade. Eight years of construction by all workers was made. At the opening the whole village and surroundings may come and admire. From afar one can already see the imposing castle of the Esquire. Of course Enchen Leuten is going there to see. She's just come to live in Limbricht. She lives there with her family. They have a stone house with a real roof and a box bed with two more brothers and a sister. That's more than they ever had. Her father is working hard as a new field handler of the squire's ground. Her mother is religious and church is where she can always be found. Then the moment is now. The party of the year. The opening ceremony. Hear, hear. Castle flags and banners flutter festively in top to sea. Trumpets sound as the castle law calls to the people. Come in, all ye! as wills, to have their grain compulsorily ground in the castle mills. The tribal stranglehold of lord, community and church oppressed farmer and maid. As pastor threatened with the devil, the people were afraid, so afraid. Two tithes of rent for the lord of the castle, plus a tenth for the church. The people had to work hard around the clock, no time for a search. countryside goes. She admires nature, the birds in the trees, the cows in the meadows. The paths in the Lembrechter forest, Emchen in her mind's eye sees. Can you hear the woodpecker at the very top of the trees? Of all the herbs, she knows the name and healing uses and when. People come to her for healing animals, children and men. Look, there goes a little deer, with her soft fur, fearing nothing. Here, the hunting horn sounds. Ooh, the lord of the castle goes hunting. Love luck comes into Enchen's life. 
Who would have thought it a while? She falls in love with Jacob, the one with the sweetest smile. In the church, she was already discreetly looking out for Jacob from the side. They first picked blackberries together, and now, now she will be his bride. In love, engaged, married, how happy they are. Emchen went to live with Jacob on the farm. Their daughter Gretchen was born. What happiness! The three of them retreated, sweet togetherness. the oppression. Rage turned a blur. Entchen and Jacob organized the resistance, fed up as they were. At daybreak, the community went onwards to the fight, together with the Gulag manpower who fought by their side. With rakes and axes, hammers and guns, they went to war, fathers and sons. The lord of the castle struck back at the attack with a Spanish garrison at his back.
was fierce. Many were killed and wounded on the ground. Some of them were not even found. Enchin was worried. They probably got their heads handed to them. Meanwhile, she patched up all the wounded men. Jacob was trapped with his companions at a dungeon of the fortress. The lord of the castle was angry. He left them in pieces. The priest spoke in fury about the peasants and their atrocities. Oh, poor one, in the dungeon, Jacob died of his injuries. Jacob was buried in the cemetery next to the church alone. A handful of people stood by his tombstone. Enchen and Gretchen's grief was so great, their mourning so deep. It was as if the sun would never shine again, not even in their sleep. But Enchen and Gretchen are women so strong, they pick up life again, despite grieving for long. Even though the shine is off life, they reach to each other's hand. The cows have to be milked, the harvest off the land. Enchen manages quite well as a single woman anew. That causes gossip, sometimes bad blood too. Unheard of, an independent woman. She must bind the devil to herself. But to cure man and beast, they know where to find her and her herbs on the shelf. Thank you. 
Those with guns bang on Anthem's door like a drum. We've come to arrest you. You'll hear why, they run. In an open horse-drawn cart, Anthem is brought to the castle. Soldiers laugh. You've been arrested. You're suspected of witchcraft. The dungeon is at the very bottom of the castle, with straw on the floor. It's dim and damp there, certainly not healthy, a degrading decor. Enchen is thrown into the dungeon, the doors fall shut with a loud blast. She's completely panicked. What now? What now? How long will I last? Entchen is given only a small remnant to eat and drink. This is how they want her morale to sink. Her body and her heart they tempt to exhaust. Entchen doesn't let herself be cowed, her fight never paused. The witch trial is about to begin, the council chamber is crowded. The whole village has come, but not because they're astounded. All the help Entchen has ever given without a strife is now all being put up against her own life. It dizzies her. She has to stay in the dungeon longer. She paces laps and laps to make herself stronger. Because of her, the neighbor's cow isn't dead, or did it die? 31 accusations. It's just too crazy. She can't believe why. <laughs> Enchen denies everything. I didn't do it, is her denial. They don't believe her. She has to endure the witch's trial. Terizio three, three torches in a row, in all the world. No woman got that done, so... It's about to begin. The torturer is already setting up devices here. Torture one are the thumbscrews. The ordeal is severe. The pain is devastating. She screams, blood runs down her hand. Screws are tightened, the nails off. What a gruesome stand. <laughs> Torture too. The shins are next. A structure is tied to them, so they can't flex. A pin between them, the shins will break under the chain. Entian is unconscious, succumbing to the pain. With a bucket of water, they revive her to see. They proceed immediately to Terizio III. 
hanging by the arms to dislocate her shoulders. Enchin persists. She will not yield before all beholders. <laughs> dead than alive, Antion returns to the cell. She's persevered, but it feels like hell. Shins broken, shoulders dislocated, nails off, but she didn't budge. They'll hate it. Tarizio three, without uttering a sound, it's a miracle that she's still around. Now Antion has hope. She's done what she could do. She is innocent. Will the court of aldermen let her go too? Can hovered between life and death. She lived on a few crusts of bread. Incredibly, she's endured torture somehow. What would they do to her now? Enchen wins the witch trial, no misunderstanding. But alive, she endangers the castle lord standing. Very slyly, she's strangled. No one there, or was there a shaft? Posthumously, Enchen is found guilty of false witchcraft. Fortunately, witch trials in the Netherlands have been ditched. Enchen is the last woman to have been tried as a witch. But in some countries, it's still the order of the day, however. For a truly peaceful world, we have to work hard together. Independent, strong women like Enchen are now allowed to exist. We still have some way to go together. We do need to persist. Enchen deserves a statue for her courage and her strength to hold an ode to Enchen Leuten and the last witch hunt be told. <laughs> 